well as Danny Schechter, um, Coach Shack from Gonzaga College High School in Washington, D.C. Um, happy to be here. Really appreciate the invite, uh, Drew. Uh, means, means a lot. Uh, before I get in my presentation, just a couple quick thank yous and I'll get going. Um, you know, wouldn't be where I am if it weren't for my head coach, Randy Trivers, best head coach uh, you could ever ask for. If you ever want to meet a great man and learn a lot of ball, uh, that, that would be a great one. Uh, my parents, obviously, and then got to give a special shout out to my wife who's uh, put the kids down to bed for me uh, so that way I can be on here with you guys. So with that said, let's get going. Uh, talk a little sugar huddle uh, with, with you guys today. Um, so, um, you know, to, to me, uh, you know, we, we use this, uh, the sugar huddle uh, as a change of tempo. So you can see the title, you know, we're going to slow down to speed up. Um, uh, and then at the bottom, you can see uh, that would be uh, my Twitter handle at Coach D Shack. So, um, you know, when, when uh, I'm thinking about offense, uh, no huddle. I'm always saying, I want to go fast. I want to go fast. I want to go fast. As an offensive guy, it was, um, you know, coming up in the 2000s, it was really beating our head that, hey, if you go really, really fast, then the defense is going to be in their base. You're going to catch them off guard. Uh, you're you're going to just win games by going really, really fast as an offense. And in some, some ways, it's true. But you know, over these last 15, 20 years, let's be honest, uh, defensive coaches don't fear the no huddle uh, like they first did when it, when it, you know, came out and was, and was really hot. Uh, so, you know, defenses have caught up uh, to, the, to the no huddle. Um, and then there are some coaches who, you know, have all these different tempos uh, that they want to use. Um, and, I, and I think that's great. Um, I, myself, um, I can't, I can't, there are only so many tempos that I can uh, handle calling and having a plan for in the game. Uh, and, and so, you know, we either are going fast, uh, we're, you know, doing a check with me, um, or we're trying to milk it, uh, go slow, you know, four minute type of offense. Uh, and then our other big change of tempo would be this with the sugar huddle. So, you know, I know, hey, everybody, Ricky Bobby, I want to go fast, but sometimes you got to be, be the partner, uh, shake and bake. Uh, and maybe not be as fast as Ricky Bobby, but you can still win some games. So um, what, what we're trying to do, uh, you know, this right here, uh, the sugar huddle, it, and, and uh, Coach Gower uh, said, you know, hey, man, this is really easy to implement. Well, that's exactly what I was looking for uh, in the offense to help change the tempo against the teams that we were playing. So this is simple, effective, and cheap. It really does not cost much money to install the sugar huddle. Um, and, you know, you're able to use any kind of schemes you want. For us, we stick to our base schemes uh, just for the fact that uh, we do get a little funky with, with our formation. Uh, so there's not exactly a, a guarantee with how the defense is going to line up. Uh, plus, when you break it, the sugar huddle, uh, if you do it right and it's quick enough, you, you might mess the defense up. They're not aligned properly. Uh, so it's really hard to have your guys run, you know, some new exotic play when uh, – guys might be out of position. So uh, we tend to use our base schemes. We're, we're a gap scheme. So, you know, stuff like power and duo, duo one back, two back power duo uh, are, are two, you know, our, our biggest ones. Uh, and then we also um, you use a jet sweep. So, uh, you know, it's a great way to get in an unbalanced formation without giving away to the defense very quickly that it's an unbalanced formation. Uh, and, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about once I pull up the film. Um, um, and then, you know, the beauty of it, you can have shifts, you can have motions uh, as well. Uh, for us, this really simplified communication. So for us to be in a pistol set with an unbalanced formation and a, uh, and a jet motion, you know, that could take between uh, four to seven words uh, just for the formation portion of that. Well, in order to simplify it, well, we just added the sugar huddle and we just used one word. Um, and, I'll, and I'll get to that too. So you can really simplify communication. If you're a mo multiple uh, offense that use a lot of different formations and everything like we do, uh, this really helps cut down on the, num on the number of words that you have to say in a play call. Um, it's a great change of tempo. Uh, so, you know, red light, green light. Red light meaning uh, we're normally, hey, we're usually hurry up, get to the line of scrimmage. We're going to run a bunch of plays uh, and go fast. Uh, there are some points in the game where you want to change the tempo um, and, and, you know, affect the defense and get them back on their heels even more. Uh, and so the red light would be you getting in that sugar huddle and everything kind of comes to a standstill. You know, um, if you're in Oklahoma or Texas, you probably get a tumbleweed going by on the field or something at the same time. Uh, and then 
And then once you break the sugar huddle, it's green light. Okay, Ricky Bobby, going to go fast uh, off to the races, let go. And this really affects the defense because they're at a standstill. Uh, and then all of a sudden, boom, you know, we're, we're getting set. This guy's going, boom, ball snap. And the defense has no time to communicate any of that stuff. Uh, all the communication is going to have to occur in before the game uh, while they're game planning. Um, and, and so, you know, I think it's a great change of tempo, uh, and it forces the defense to have their communication before the game, uh, and then doesn't allow the defense to really communicate uh, right when that huddle is broken. Um, playmaker focus. So uh, we have a, a really fast guy, and, it's not, and he plays receiver. It's not always easy to get receivers the ball. Uh, so this was a way for us to include him, and he's either going to get the ball or he's going to be a decoy. Uh, so what more do you want out of a playmaker? You either want to hand him the ball or have him be uh, the shiny object that the defense is looking at. Um, and then uh, this is also great for building tendencies. Uh, so you want to, you know, make the tendency, make the tendency, make the tendency. Uh, defensive coordinators, oh, yeah, we know exactly. This guy's going to do this, and boom, we're going to be able to do this and fit it right up. Um, and then you can break the tendency. Uh, and that could be either with scheme or with the dummy. So, um, you know, we've gotten guys who – uh, run straight into the backfield, uh, you know, knocking over an offensive lineman just because we did our sugar huddle, we broke it, we motioned, we did a dummy cadence, and they were expecting us to be able to time it up and, uh, when, we, when we were snapping the ball, and we got them for a nice, easy, cheap five yards. All right, so uh, how we do our sugar huddle. Um, we like to set our sugar huddle about three yards from the offensive line, and we have our core players in there. When I say core players, that means it's got to be your offensive lineman and the quarterback and whoever else is in the backfield. Um, uh, the offensive line, you know, they should be aligned three yards from the ball, and they should be in the spot that they're going to be going to. So your left tackle should be three yards and right, you know, you can turn around and basically be right where he would align as a left tackle. Same with the guard, same with the center, same with the, uh, you know, the right guard, right tackle. Everybody uh, alignment-wise. Uh, same thing with the tailback. Uh, we, we put the tail back. We say your toes are at seven. So he's not even in, really in the sugar huddle. He's going to get his signal from the sideline. Um, something that we're going to mess with this year. Uh, previously, we've always had the offensive line facing the quarterback. So their back was to the play. Uh, um, and then they had to you know, turn around and get set. Uh, this year, we're going to mess with having our offensive line actually face the ball. So right when they hear the, uh, the quarterback break the huddle, they get the play call, quarterback breaks the huddle, boom, they're facing the line of scrimmage and they can get set up even faster right now. And there's something kind of badass about having, you know, some 300-pound dudes uh, just staring down the defensive line and then go attack them uh, and then get, get set. Um, for us, with the break, uh, we, we, you know, uh, ready, uh, break, and then everybody's going to go get set. We told, told all of our offensive linemen, get in two-point stance. Uh, we don't want anybody putting a hand on the ground because that's just, you know what, even that takes a half a second, that's a half a second longer that we, that the quarterback has to wait to send any motion. That's a half a second longer for us to snap the ball. And that's a half a second that you're giving to the defense in order to communicate and get set up um, with any uh, last second adjustments. Non-core alignment. We don't have them in the sugar huddle at all. Uh, so they're just like no huddle offense where they're going to get their uh, signal from the sideline. They're going to get set up in their spots. Uh, they should basically be in their stances uh, because we need them to be set because the only guys that we want to have to get set really is going to be the offensive line. And that way we can go as fast as possible while being slow. Uh, so we have, a, you know, we have a one word signal that says, hey, this is the sugar huddle. This is the personnel. This is the formation. And this is the motion. So one word to talk about all that stuff. The play, we signal it in. Uh, the QB is the one who's in charge. So he's got to make sure that everybody on the perimeter is set. Um, and then when he breaks the huddle, he's in charge. So, I, you know, I coach, you got to coach the quarterback to tell the offensive linemen to get down because sometimes those linemen, they're, they're, they're tired or they're hungry um, or, you know, something. They need something from the, the vending machine. Uh, they don't want to move too quickly. You know, they like to do the fat man jog everywhere. But right now, we need those guys to get their butts set. And that's the quarterback's uh, big job. Get down, get down, get down. And then tempo-wise, he, you know, he sends a motion. He's in charge of the snap. And then we're off to the races going. Um, so uh, the, this is a set that we have used that we used the last year. Uh, we just uh, said, hey, what are our best personnel players? Um, you know, what, what do we do best? Um, how can we set it up best? And we basically stuck with 
this. So we would uh, signal in laser, uh, whatever the heck the signal is uh, that you want for laser to be. Boom, laser. Laser means that we are in a sugar huddle. Laser means that the, the formation is going to be unbalanced to the left. The jet is going to go to the left. The fullback is already on the left. We'll be in the pistol. Uh, so that way the back has a two-way go because um, there's some stuff that we can do to have them, you know, lead block left or right uh, to, to add an extra hat for blocking. Uh, rocket is just the flip of all of it. Uh, so, you know, the, it, it's not rocket science here. Uh, it, it, it's just being able to apply uh, stuff that we've already used as coaches uh, to get the defense off kilter a little bit. Um, so, you know, one, you know, I know one word play calls are all the rage. Uh, this is a way to get, um, you know, one word uh, formation, sugar, uh, and motion all in one, uh, all in one word as well. All right. So uh, let, now let's get to uh, get to some film. Let me share this. All right, so uh, hopefully everybody can see the film. Drew, everybody can see it, we're good? All right, great. Um, so right here, um, uh, we, you can see us in the sugar huddle. Uh, you can see the receipt, you know, the, the receiver at the top at the numbers. Here is our tight end uh, standing, uh, getting ready, tailback, toes at seven. Here's our jet, jetter right here. Um, so what, what's really beautiful is when you get a team that's playing man coverage, they don't know if this guy is gonna be eligible or ineligible. So uh, you, you, you got them possibly wasting uh, a man on somebody who ain't ever going to be able to go out for a pass because he's an ineligible player. All right, so right here, boom, we're going to break the huddle, get down, get set, and then here comes the jet. Okay, so before, you know, we break the huddle, and you can see the defenders. They're trying to talk to each other, see exactly where they're supposed to be do going. You got all these guys pointing, another guy pointing, uh, we're jetting and moving, and they're trying to do stuff on the fly. And, you know, but we're just running a simple jet sweep. All right, so we're able to catch them a little off guard. Um, and, you know, the, the, they, you, you'll see a bunch of guys just kind of give up like, dang, that wasn't fair. You guys snapped that too, uh, too quick uh, on us. We weren't even ready to go. You know, you got three or four or five guys kind of jogging back there uh, because, oh, it wasn't fair. We weren't, we weren't set. And this is just a regular base play for us. You can see guys, uh, see guys pointing uh, stuff out, and we're just running our base jet sweep. All right, so uh, this is uh, same, you know, same deal. It's just going to the right. Uh, and so once again, just want to be able to show what the sugar huddle looks like. Okay, got our guys all set, right? We're all set, ready to go. Oh, what do you know? They're playing man-to-man -man coverage right here. Uh, and we, you know, so what we would do is if we know we're playing a man team, you know, we'll scheme up some kind of pass, uh, you know, to help us get a uh, matchup. Most of the stuff that we do out of this is run. Uh, I do have a nice little trick at the end for you. All right, so once again, um, sugar, get down, get set. Um, and this is part of the reason I also want to have the offensive line. I want to try face, having them face the line of scrimmage this year. So that way they can already have their splits. Um, and then they can just run forward and get set. And it will be able to go even faster. Boom. Quarterback said one who's in charge of all this. Okay. Everybody's down, set. Get the guy in motion quick. Hand off the quick jet. All right. So, that, you know, the jet is the, is the base one that we're going to try and hit. Um, and then, you know, it's an if-then after that. How are they taking the jet away? You know, are they going to have somebody fly out, out real quick? Because if they have somebody fly out real quick to the jet, then that means that we should be hitting them inside with some of our gap run. Uh, so this right here would be an example. Uh, we don't get the video of the sugar huddle, but you have the idea. Um, this right here is now we we're, we're have the jet sweep going, but we're just running power to the right. Right, and, and, and this time, you don't even have an adjustment on the backside. So we're running power to the right. Uh, you got two players right here who basically eliminated, eliminated themselves from the play. They're not going with the jet, um, and they're just kind of uh, hanging out on the backside over here. Of course, you know, those two guys are the ones who make the tackle because they ain't doing anything. Um, but what we were seeing in the game is we would have the jet, and this player right here is hopping outside. This guy was also, you know, being a little bit slow uh, and not, not wrong arming uh, right away. So we said, hey, we can hit him with the power real, real easy. 
Um, and then you got to give some love to number 74 at guard, uh, making 25 pay on that double team. Right, and it, 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 it helps the puller out. Uh, you can see our um, you can see our puller boom get into the uh, to the Sam linebacker who's flowing a little bit with the jet sweep. So once again, base scheme. Uh, we just draw, you know, this is just window dressing um, and as well as a tempo changer for us. Okay, another quick one. Uh, this is our, this is, I'm just putting this on here for our one back power. So uh, this would be us, you know, you got the fullback and a lot of times the fullback's gonna tell you exactly where the play is going. So with the jet plus the fullback, a lot of people start overplaying the, the field side where we're jetting to. So what we'll do is we'll uh, have our fullback wham that wham the backside. So the fullback's not always telling you exactly where they're going. And you can see with the jet fake uh, going right here, they're trying to time it up by just shooting a linebacker in the A gap. Well, that's easy for our center to pick up. And then you got one, two, three guys trying to fly out with the jet sweep plus the defensive end. Really good. Um, you know, if you if you have a team that uh, likes to likes to spill and everything, the jet plus a base block really helps you get um, a, a lot of uh, almost like an extra gap on this side. This might make you sick with how open this is, right? And then we get like four yards. Sometimes you just don't have very good tailbacks. Um, but you can see the fullback, you know, going away from the play uh, right here, so that way he's not a key as to where the play is always going to go. Jet sweep, nice big juicy hole for us to go get three yards in. All right, so you know we'll show quarterback, or sorry, we'll show run play, run play. You know, jet sweep, hand it off to the tailback. Jet sweep, hand it off to the tailback, and then of course now you get your quarterback involved too. So this one, you might be going, well, this sugar huddle doesn't look very fast. So this was a game we're playing. Uh, this team in red, I don't even want to say their name because they're one of our biggest rivals, um, but they're uh, pretty darn good, all right, loaded, loaded with talent. Um, that defensive line, every single one of those defensive linemen is playing, uh, is going to be playing power five, or they are already playing power five. Um, their, their worst player was their middle linebacker who's playing D1 AA football. Um, so they're, they're pretty decent, just to say the least. Um, so we actually wanted to go slow. This whole entire game uh, was was very, very slow. We, this was the opposite of what we've done all season. We wanted to keep the ball out of their explosive offense's hands. So the sugar huddle is something that we use, and we went extra slow with it. Boom, get set, guys. Take your time. And we want them to see it, right? We want them to see this presentation because we really want them to feel that they got something coming this way, whether it's a jet or the tailback run. Uh, so we fake the jet. You see the fullback going to the backside. Quarterback fakes the handoff, and this is just um, like almost quarterback um, inside zone. Uh, this is our duo play right here. So uh, what you'll see is, uh, you know, they've game plan for it. They've they've seen it. I mean, they've really reduced the edge. They have nothing out here um, on the on the perimeter, especially after the jet motion comes uh, and you got a man running with it. There's literally nothing out there. Um, and they're thinking, oh, we're going to be smart because we're going to be able to uh, eat something up that's going over here. We're either going to be able to eat up the jet sweep out here. We got leveraged it pre-snap. Um, we're going to hurry on out there. Or whatever's up the middle, we're going to be able to squeeze, condense it, and make a nice, uh, might make an easy tackle. So, boom, make the play fake. And then there, there's nothing going on uh, over there. And, uh, you know, quarterbacks run out of bounds because end of the period. And uh, as we teach the quarterbacks, uh, touchdown, first down, get down. Um, especially when you have a quarterback like this kid, uh, you cannot, he's not allowed to be hurt. Okay, so quarterback run. Here's another quarterback run. This is off of our counter. So little change up that, we'll, that we do. This is um, a part of our run screen option uh, that, that we do. So instead of having him jet in front of the quarterback right here, we have him run the, um, the, the push motion. He's going to go behind the quarterback. And now you have a run, uh, a run screen option. Uh, so the quarterback, we have a um, quarterback counter going on um, with, uh, with the guard and the fullback pulling. Quarterback easily could have thrown this one. I think you guys could see the numbers. I mean, we, we do have a pretty good one, but he also knows that he's pretty darn good. Sees the, uh, the cornerback running with the jetter and says, I'm going to take this thing on my own. And then it, you know, comes off like a prom dress. You got to love it. 
All right, so right here, after we just, uh, just want to go through the play a little, little bit. So uh, talking about the tailback now. So we put the tailback in the pistol, like I said, so that way he has a two-way go on which way he can attack. Uh, so right here we have the run screen option. You have the guard and the fullback uh, kicking and pulling. And then you see the tailback being an extra hat leading in the alley. So, you know, I watch this play. I'm like, come on, man. We, we need to go score. Stop looking behind you. Just be the fast guy you are and go score a touchdown. Uh, but you can see just a little bit of a change. And, that, you know, it's nothing big. Hey, instead of going in front of the quarterback this time, you're going to go behind the quarterback. Um, so, like, for us, uh, this would have been, uh, instead of laser um, and rocket, this would have been uh, launcher and grenade. Um, so this right here would just be another one word. The word, all it's telling, everything's the same. The only difference now is that we have the guy going behind the quarterback. Everything's the same. Just the one word indicates, hey, here's a little bit of a change just so that we can uh, different presentation and get the run screen option going. Uh, here's another look. Okay. Same deal, okay, run screen option. Uh, and this time the quarterback, you know, likes the, likes the look, likes the numbers. He might be a little bit tired because he just ran the football, flings it out there. Um, nice, nice little quick pitch and catch to get five yards. This time, you know, you can see, you know, this is a, a split field coverage team for the most part. Um, and so they're, they're keeping their cornerback, their zone team, so they're keeping the cornerback backside. But you can see the tailback. We have him leading for the corner. Uh, fullback is going to kick right there. This is our uh, quarterback duo uh, right there. Uh, he likes the numbers. Easy pitch and catch. Go get five, six yards on first down. All right, very simple things for us to do. Uh, just got a couple more clips, and I'll be hopping off here, fellas. All right, so once again, sugar huddle. Right, defense is standing around. Not a lot of time to communicate. Let's get going, right? So you got this guy, uh, you know, coming around late. Uh, to me, not necessarily what we want, uh, but defense having difficulty lining up, communicating. Guy goes behind, nice easy pitch and catch. Go throw the ball to the fast guy and let the fast guy do what he does best, be fast. All right, so simple, effective, easy stuff. And so what we've done throughout the season, uh, you know, we build the tendencies, build the tendencies, build the tendencies, and then you get in the playoffs or right here in the championship game. Uh, so this is our championship game in 2018. Uh, we're down by two scores in the third quarter. Um, we need to get this two-point conversion. Um, or sorry, we need to get this touchdown and then a two-point conversion after it. Uh, so that way we can pull within eight. Uh, so right here, uh, this is a play that everybody and their mother has seen since the Philadelphia Eagles won the Super Bowl. Uh, and this is uh, Philly special uh, from the Sugar Huddle, right? So uh, beautiful. Uh, it is exactly what you want. We knew we're, this is a man defense, especially when we're going to be in the, uh, the green zone, red zone area. We know we're going to get man. Uh, so who's going to account for the quarterback? Well, that dude better be super duper disciplined because right here we're handing off a jet sweep. So if you're going to tell me that the guy who's supposed to be responsible for the quarterback ain't going to go after the jet sweep, then you are a much better coach than I will ever be. Um, and then you got the reverse. Oh, no, look out for the reverse, and there's nobody for the quarterback. Um, so this is just one of the things where we built the tendency throughout the season. We never showed it. We practiced this, we practiced this once a week, every single week for the whole entire season to uncork it when we needed it most. Um, so – uh, our guys had plenty of reps of practicing it. We practice it uh, in the goal line period or the two-point play period that we'd have against our defense. So that way we get the closest look to a live look. Our defense would know that it was coming, um, and it would irritate the heck out of them that their guys still couldn't stop it. Um, so build a tendency uh, so that way you can break the tendency on the constraint play um, for, for when you need it the most. Um, and that was a, a, a play that – help lead us back into the game. Um, and then we end up winning a championship on a Hail Mary. And if you guys ever have an opportunity to win a championship on a Hail Mary, I highly recommend it um, because uh, it's worth every, every second. Um, so right there, uh, that's the, the sugar huddle. Uh, the whole point of it, guys, so that you can change your pace, uh, slow down to then be really, really quick on the defense. It's simple, effective, easy to install. You're able to use all of your base stuff. Uh, you have the defense communicating on the fly. And when you make 15, uh, 14 to 18-year-olds have to communicate really quickly, uh, they're bound to mess up something up uh, at some point. So I hope you guys got something out of it. If you need anything from me, uh, please hit me up at Coach D Shack. 
uh, on Twitter, always willing to talk ball, always willing to share. Uh, appreciate you, Coach Ambrose, for having me on. I hope you all have a great night. Absolutely, man. We appreciate you coming on. Thank you.